you. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you very much. She's just a good artist and they wanted her to draw something for it. And let me tell you, she was honored. Her papa is from the, main, from the Army. Bill Kane. I was inducted in 1943 and that was the uh, engineer, combat engineer training. A tough training program. Went into uh, southern France in the uh, Marseille area. And uh, that's when the Battle of the Bulge opened up. From then on, I went all across Europe and uh, wound up and uh, we put bridges in for General Patton. And he said we paved the way for the tanks to get through. We worked on minefields. We did everything possible to get the tanks okay so he could uh, conduct the tank uh, warfare that he did. It was all close combat, so I got hit with a hand grenade. I got hit in the face. Another part of freedom's cost must continue to be paid long after the guns have been silenced. This is owed to America's veterans. My grandpa. Some need their country's help, even as their country once needed theirs, to readjust, to recover from wounds, or to overcome hardships of age and infirmity. Color Guard, advance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At ease. The Veterans Day program at Excelsior Elementary is near and dear to our hearts, and we feel it's important for kids to understand um, what our veterans have done to our, for our country and what it means to honor them their courage, their dedication, and to say thank you for their sacrifice. All veterans who are in attendance, please stand. We spend several months uh, working on the program uh, to ensure that kids not only are performing, but that they truly understand uh, the importance of veterans. chance to go deploy to the Roll 3 hospital in Kandahar, Afghanistan, which is in, you know, the southern part, and that was uh, the area that was really, you know, had the most fighting going on at the time. Our hospital was the, the largest hospital and had the biggest capability for handling really complex injuries. So we'd have patients coming in with really severe injuries, sometimes missing limbs, sometimes multiple limbs, um, who'd still be awake when they rolled through our doors. Um, and, you know, interestingly, the first thing they typically asked about was not about themselves and, you know, if they were okay or what their injuries were. They always asked about their buddies that they were with. My big takeaway from, from this deployment um, is really, you know, a different perspective on things. That we are so lucky to live here in the country that we do. I mean, this is the greatest country in the world because we value our children, we value each other. Very proud. Yeah, very proud. You got a real nice program out here. It's something to be proud of.